okay hi virgos welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thanks so much for supporting the channel so this is going to be a message a general message for my virgos that are dealing with another earth sign a virgo taurus or a capricorn now this is a general message so it may not resonate with everyone just take what resonates for you leave the rest anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and for those of you who do subscribe it's very much appreciated so I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Cross watcher, if you're in here, feel free to flip the rolls if you are dealing with a Virgo. But what do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with another Earth sign? Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to get a card for now and a card for going forward. Okay. So the first one that is coming out here, it says Salt. So the number 41 could be significant or the number 14, but it does boil down to a five. And the five to me does talk about change. And, and, you know, we have these butterflies here, which also represent transformation and change, growth. Um, now, on these bottles, it says self-love, purity, and it says boundaries. So I don't know if someone here is setting some sort of boundaries. Now, going forward, we have cloak and dagger. Mm. So someone here may need to be careful of, I don't know, a fox just walked across the garden. Um, so I don't know if someone needs to be careful of someone who is sneaky, but it says deception. And it is a number seven, which can be, like I said, a warning here. So Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, spirit. What's the energy here? And the, I mean, the two people on this car, they look pretty close, right? If this person is close enough to hug you. So show me more. What's the energy here, spirit? So you've got the mature man. And the mature man is also uh, a number five. So it could be a masculine here that is putting up some sort of boundaries, right? Or maybe you need to. Again, this energy of maybe you need to protect yourself here. There could be something going on in a court situation or with a marriage here. Uh, what's cloak and dagger? You have a main male, a gift, and you have courtship. It's a lot of cards. This make me feel like these are two different masculines. But let me see. Poverty at the bottom of the deck. What is this mature man over here? Do you know what I also see here? I also see somebody wanting to thank somebody for maybe exposing something. Or shining some sort of light on someone who was a thief or a liar or something like that. It's making me think of the Seven of Swords, liar, cheater, thief, right? Someone masquerading themselves as a friend, but they have underlying motives. What is this mature man? The mature man is the mountain. And the mountain talks about obstacles and blockages. Again, the, the word enemy here. What is this over here, spirit? The bear. Hmm. Interesting because I just saw the tower and now I'm seeing the bear card. And the bear card for me is like the emperor energy. So someone could be dealing with an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Or it could be a father figure. Or for some of you, I don't know if this has something to do with a child. What is this? Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, what did I say? Look, seven of swords. Show me more. The ace of pentacles. So does this have to do with finances? Seven of swords also talks about trickery and fraud. 
So coming out sideways is the Eight of Swords. So there's someone here who's in some sort of mental prison. This is someone who feels like they're restricted in a certain situation or somebody who is playing victim. But the Eight of Swords is an illusion. What's the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords is the Ace of Wands. Some sort of action that maybe somebody took. What's the Ace of Wands? Landing on the Eight of Swords is a Page of Wands. So this is a Two of Wands energy. What's the Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands? Because the Page of Wands talks about communication. Again, there's this energy here. I don't know if someone has some sort of desire to, I don't know, start some sort of new beginning or go in a new direction here. Someone here could be communicating with someone that's inspiring them. But the Page of Wands talks about freedom. Two of Pentacles. And I just said about the Two of Wands. Someone here is indecisive. Maybe about moving forward, Six of Swords. Eight of Wands. King of Cups and the Strength card. Someone here has to find the strength here to follow their heart. What's the Page of Pentacles? I'm saying the page. I don't know. It must be this full moon. Man, that's what I'm putting it down to. This speech is just all over the place. It could be Mercury Retrograde as well, right? Uh, bear with me. What's the Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Two of Pentacles came straight back out. Show me more. And the Strength card came straight back out. Okay. <laughs> Someone here is trying to decide something. Now, again, someone could be, you know, this could have something to do with um, some sort of inheritance with the Ace of Pentacles or some sort of business opportunity. Three of Pentacles energy makes, you know, it talks about teamwork, collaboration, building something here. But you have the Strength card back out here. So what's the Two of Pentacles? The Three of Cups, Celebrations, Reunited, Reconciliation. But again, this can talk about, you know, something creative. This is happiness, though. Friendships. Could be a friend that wants to reunite. What's the Eight of Swords? I just saw the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Four of Swords. But this could be someone who betrayed you somehow. What is the Ten of Swords? What is the Eight of Swords? The Eight of Wands, yeah. So someone could be seeing the synchronicities, 88. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles, though, coming in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with another Virgo. It doesn't have to be. But the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, it talks about fear and insecurity. Someone who lives above their means. So again, is this why the Two of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles is out here? This talks about deception, lack of faith. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse? The Two of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Yeah, definitely insecurities here. Nine of Wands is an energy of perseverance. It's a test of faith. Give me one more. The Emperor. Aries energy. Someone, I did say that, you know, someone could have just have Aries in their chart. Or it doesn't have to be. This is also Taurus energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus. But I feel like this is more saying to me about somebody needing to kind of step into their power and stand their ground. What is the Emperor? Yeah, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, but the Two of Swords. What's the Emperor? The Death card. Scorpio energy. The death card does talk about, yeah, the full card at the bottom of the deck, you know. Someone here wants to take some sort of action. Someone must have fire in their chart. Someone needs to stand in their truth, Ace of Swords. And then you have the temperance energy, which talks about bringing balance and harmony back to a situation. Peace. But I feel like with the Emperor and the death card, this is an energy where, you know, like I was saying, endings bring new beginnings. Someone has to... 
I guess, accept something. What's the death card? Yeah, coming out sideways is a blockage. Three of Wands. It's almost like someone here is not seeing the bigger picture of a situation. You know, Three of Wands talks about moving forward, expansion, traveling. You could be at a distance from somebody. But this is about having foresight. What is this main male, the bear, the gift, and the courtship? Why is it out here for deception? Show me more. The Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Cups. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. The Eight of Swords. Landed on the Eight of Swords is Two of Cups. What's the Wheel of Fortune? The Hermit, your energy. Seven of Wands. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune out here, it's a major arcana. It talks about, you know, um, it talks about fate and destiny, something that it is destined to happen here. But I don't know if someone here is fighting against something with the seven of wands what's the seven of wands someone could be being very defensive the ace of cups with the eight of wands or someone would have to fight for something what is the knight of cups the ace of swords landed on the eight of wands so again it's communication clarity truth you have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. Slow and steady. This, for some of you, I feel like this has something to do with, um, I was going to say generational wealth, but I wasn't necessarily thinking of money. I was thinking more like a, a legacy, a destiny. But there's hesitation here. Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. It just kind of feels like, I, I mean... I mean, this Ten of Pentacles could be saying to me, someone just wants to make sure that they're making the right choice, right? Is something going to last the duration of time? Is it worth me investing in? What is the Ten of Pentacles? King of Wands. What's this King of Wands? Damn, King of Swords. And I'm seeing a Knight of Wands wanting to come out. What's these two kings with the Ten of Pentacles? The Hanged Man, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords. And that there could be something here, right? I don't... Do we have the Seven of Swords out here already? No. But I don't know if there is something here or there's some sort of delay or something is challenging when it comes to some sort of finances, right? What is this deception about? Or is this family members? There's a lot of people here involved in something. But it would say to me with the hangman and the page of swords out here that these are people that are stuck. But who are all these people? Or what is this? Four of Pentacles. With the moon card. I don't know if these are people that really want to hold on to something. The magician. They're, okay, I'm just going to say, there could even be someone here who wants to be with the same sex as themselves, but maybe they're stuck with a Queen of Cups. What's this Two of Cups? The Ace of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. I really feel like that Knight of Wands wanted to come in the reverse. What's the Knight of Wands? This could be that someone's very passionate about another person or they want to rush in quickly to someone or there's something here, I don't know, about someone's sexuality or something. The Six of Wands. What's the Six of Wands with the Knight of Wands? 
the three of cups coming out sideways the knight of swords and the four of cups with the chariot and for others of my virgos there may be someone here who i don't know if they could make up their mind or not with that knight of wands right like i said could be someone who just wants to i don't know soil their royal oats but this is someone that maybe is going to see you move on and celebrate with somebody else. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles. And they're going to kind of always be wondering about, you know, what if they had invested in you? Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands. I keep getting this energy where for some of you, I don't know if you have people that have their eyes on you, but they, they've already, you know, they've already committed to somebody else or they're married or they're attached to someone. But I mean, you make your choice, you know, live with it. I mean, what's the point of spying on the Virgo? What's the energy in love? You have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Okay. You have love. It says unconditional love. It says self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. You have the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solid, whatever that is. Force, honor, protection, and power. And then you have Cupid's arrow. It says, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, meeting, hesitation. And then you have keys on the rain. It says many options. It says decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. It's like, I don't know if this is someone that knows what they want. You have the runner with the mask. Show me more. You have soul searching, exactly. It says needing to work on some personal issues first. In the reverse, you have in the upright, it says harmony. It says being in tune with each other and getting along. This may be someone who is with somebody or you may have a child with them, but this is someone who is not at peace. energy and love landing on the mountain it says nurture and growth it says attending it says attend to your bond attend to your bond with love and patience but this is someone who can't show me more you have on the move, it says moving away or getting a new home together. So someone could definitely be thinking about relocating and moving. I don't know, maybe, is this someone who thinks about moving in with you or moving closer to you? Someone could just be moving. Show me more. You have a leap forward. It says seize the moment and let yourself be fully loved. But again, you have baby steps at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone desires this, but I really feel like they feel caged in a situation with a golden cage. Because it says break free from stress and toxic relationships. But show me more. Thank you. You have burning bright. It says stroke passion to keep the flames of love alive. But you see, with nurture and growth, it says, attend to your bond with love and patience. It came in the reverse. Okay. What's the energy going forward? There goes the end with another earth sign. Yeah, you've got sweet memories at the bottom of the deck. But you also have coming out, it says the three fates. It says what comes around. So it's that energy of what goes around, comes around. Uh, do you know what? I'm looking at this picture and there's three people on here, which for, again, for some of you, this may be a third party situation. 
It looks like she's about to cut a string. I don't know if there's something to do with a cord cutting. What's the energy going forward? Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. You have vacation. So there's that energy of moving. It says you will be traveling soon. And you have communicate at the bottom of the deck. But again, I don't know if someone has a certain another situation that they need to let go of. Challenge, divorce and let go. And then you have patience and manifest. And you also have give it time. What does the earth sign not want Virgo to know, spirit? You have recording. It says announcement, expression and revealing. I don't know if someone's expecting here. But show me more. They don't want you to know that for some of you, they're recording you. huh? Uh, you have keeping you a secret. Maybe they're watching you somehow in secret. You have don't want to hear it. Show me more. You have... Uh, watching shit go down, it says enjoying the gossip. Interesting. You have tantric sex. Now, I had to look up what that was the other day. Okay, anyway. <laughs> One more, thank you, spirit. You have bad choices. They don't want to hear that they've made bad choices or they know they made bad choices. Sometimes, you know, people just aren't ready to face their demons, you know. Virgos, that is what I have for you if you're dealing with another earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn. I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.